Ding Pei, Bruce Lee died in her home. As Shi Yang Hua Qiang's ex-wife, why was Shi Yang Tai willing to support her? Please use your golden finger to make money, like and go, and become rich forever. Click to follow and like. It's hard not to become rich. In July 1973, the summer night in Hong Kong was shrouded in sultry air. The hustle and bustle of the city gradually subsided, and the night fell as if it indicated that an ordinary day was about to end. However, fate was quietly rewritten at this moment. Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee, a legendary figure who fascinated the world, suddenly passed away at the home of actress Ding Pei without any warning. This news was like a heavy bomb, instantly detonating the entire entertainment industry and quickly spreading to the world. Bruce Lee's departure not only marked the end of an era, but also a major turning point in Ding Pei's life. From this moment on, her fate was pushed onto a road full of doubts, accusations and difficulties. What exactly caused the sudden death of this Kung Fu superstar? What role did Ding Pei play in this tragedy? A mystery that lasted for decades began, and Ding Pei's life has since taken a path that no one had expected. Bruce Lee's sudden death was like a boulder thrown into a calm lake, stirring up ripples. Initially, in order to protect the reputation of the Kung Fu superstar, his agency, Golden Harvest boss Raymond Chow and his wife Linda chose a mild statement, Bruce Lee died of natural causes at home. This explanation seemed to give the public an acceptable answer and temporarily calmed people's doubts. However, the truth is difficult to hide for a long time. With the in-depth investigation of the media, the truth of the matter gradually surfaced. Bruce Lee actually died at the home of actress Ling Pei. This revelation was like a heavy punch, instantly shattering the previous illusion of common causing an uproar. As soon as the news came out, the wave of public opinion instantly submerged Ding Pei. She became the focus of public discussion, and various accusations and speculations came like a tide. Some extreme Bruce Lee fans even threatened her and asked her to commit suicide to apologize. Some even pushed her into the abyss of drugs and forced her to smoke marijuana causing her to suffer severe physical and mental trauma and even schizophrenia. At the same time, the investigation into the cause of Bruce Lee's death was also ongoing. Various speculations and conspiracy theories began to circulate among the public. Some claimed that Bruce Lee was assassinated, and even pointed out that Ding Pei was the murderer. These rumors further intensified the public's hostility towards Ding Pei. However, with the deepening of the police investigation and the release of the forensic identification report, things seemed to have a new turn. The report showed that Bruce Lee had marijuana in his body, and his brain also had mild swelling caused by an allergy to painkillers. These findings brought new perspectives to the case, but also triggered more doubts and discussions. Bruce Lee's wife Linda finally admitted that Bruce Lee did have the experience of smoking marijuana a few months before his death. This confession to some extent supported the verdict of the forensic report, but it did not completely quell the public's doubts. Faced with overwhelming accusations and speculations, Ding Pei fell into an unprecedented predicament. Not only did she suffer from mental torture, she was even unable to go out normally, and her life fell into chaos. This experience had a profound impact on her and became an important turning point in her life. Although the official investigation results pointed to an accident, the public did not fully buy it. Bruce Lee's bizarre death is still shrouded in a mysterious veil and has become a mystery that is difficult to completely solve. As one of the core figures of the incident, Ding Pei also carried a heavy psychological burden, and her life trajectory has changed completely since then. This storm not only changed Ding Pei's fate, but also made the public think more about the lives of celebrities. The discussion triggered by Bruce Lee's death went far beyond the scope of a simple accident. It touched on the dark side of the entertainment industry and reflected the public's curiosity and suspicion about the private lives of celebrities. Time flies and it is already 1993. The haze of Bruce Lee's death seems to have gradually dissipated, but fate has once again shown its ruthlessness. On an ordinary shooting day in the United States, 28-year-old Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, was shooting a seemingly routine gunfight scene for the movie The Crow. No one expected that this would become the last scene of his life. That day, Brandon Lee and actor Michael Massey were acting against each other. According to the script, Massey was supposed to shoot Brandon Lee. However, shockingly, the prop gun that was supposed to be loaded with blanks accidentally fired a real bullet. The whole set was in chaos in an instant. The moment the bullet hit Brandon Lee, time seemed to stand still. The staff immediately rushed him to the hospital, but due to excessive blood loss, the young Brandon Lee eventually passed away. This bad news was like a bolt from the blue, 
which not only shocked the entire film and television industry, but also plunged Bruce Lee's fans into deep grief. Brandon Lee's unexpected death reminded people of his father's bizarre death 20 years ago. The father and son died in such a dramatic way one after another, which inevitably made people associate. For a time, various speculations and conspiracy theories were once again rampant. Some people believed that there was some mysterious connection between the two incidents, and even suspected that someone was behind all this. However, the police investigation showed that it was indeed an accident. The actor Michael Massey who fired the gun was proved to have nothing to do with the incident and was eventually acquitted. Despite this, the result did not quell the public's doubts. Many people still believe that there is an unknown truth behind this. In this new storm, Ding Pei's name was mentioned again. Although she had no direct relationship with Bruce Lee's death, she once again became the focus of public discussion due to her special position in Bruce Lee's death. Those doubts and accusations that had been buried for many years once again surged towards her, causing her to fall into the whirlpool of public opinion again. The death of Brandon Lee was not only another blow to Bruce Lee's family, but also cast a deeper mystery over the whole incident. This tragedy once again evoked people's memories of that summer night 20 years ago, and also made Ding Pei face questioning eyes again. Although time has passed, that night that changed the fate of many people seems to never really pass. The silence that had lasted for many years was finally broken in an unexpected TV interview. The well-known host Liu Yu invited Ding Pei to participate in the recording of the program, and this invitation became an opportunity for Ding Pei to publicly tell about that past. Sitting in front of the camera, Ding Pei's eyes revealed complex emotions. She admitted that she did not want to recall this history, and every time she touched it, it was like opening the scar in her heart. However, in order to give an explanation to her daughter and not let this mystery hang over her life forever, she decided to face it bravely. Ding Pei began to recall the night that changed her fate. Her voice was sometimes firm and sometimes trembling as if she had experienced that thrilling moment again. She described the reason for Bruce Lee's visit, to discuss the script of Game of Death and their original plan to have dinner with actor George Lazenby. However, fate changed its trajectory silently. Ding Pei recalled that Bruce Lee mentioned a slight headache, but did not pay much attention to it. Until the situation took a turn for the worse, it was too late. As the only witness to the incident, Ding Pei made public the police investigation record of that year for the first time. Her statement provided new clues to this mystery that has been around for many years and allowed the public to get a glimpse of the whole picture of the matter. She mentioned that Bruce Lee took painkillers on the day of the incident, a detail that coincided with the previous investigation report. In the interview, Ding Pei also clarified the relationship between her and Bruce Lee. There was a hint of helplessness in her tone, as if she was telling about the false accusations she had endured over the years. She emphasized that she and Bruce Lee were just ordinary friends, not what the outside world had speculated. As Ding Pei told her story, that long-forgotten night seemed to unfold again in front of the audience. Her honesty and courage added a new perspective to this history and gave the public a more comprehensive understanding of this incident. Although Ding Pei's response could not completely quell all doubts, her initiative to break the silence was undoubtedly a form of self-salvation. This interview was not only an account of the past, but also a turning point for Ding Pei to face life again. By publicly telling this past, she seemed to have unloaded the psychological burden she had been carrying for a long time and was ready to welcome a new chapter in her life. At the lowest point in Ding Pei's life, an unexpected person appeared, as if it was arranged by fate. He was Xi'an Huaki Eng. This figure with a high status in the Hong Kong film and television industry shone into Ding Pei's dark world like a beam of light. The appearance of Xi'an Huaki Eng not only gave Ding Pei spiritual support, but also provided her with substantial help. When Ding Pei was tortured by public opinion and even had suicidal thoughts, it was Xi'an Huaki Eng who reached out to help her and pulled her out of the abyss of despair. This timely assistance planted the seeds of gratitude in Ding Pei's heart. As time went by, the relationship between the two gradually warmed up. In the surprised eyes of the outside world, Ding Pei and Xi'an Huaqian entered the palace of marriage. This marriage seemed to give Ding Pei a safe haven, allowing her to temporarily stay away from the public's sight and criticism. However, the gears of fate did not stop turning. Soon after the marriage, Ding Pei gave birth to a daughter for Xi'an Huaqian and named her Xi'an Yonghan. However, the composition of this family is not as simple as it seems on the surface. Ding Pei seemed to see through all kinds of life and chose an unexpected path she converted to Buddhism and healed her inner trauma by chanting scriptures and chanting Buddha. 
At this time, Xiang Huaqian met Qin Lan. The young and beautiful Qin Lan quickly won Xiang Huaqiang's favor. Faced with this situation, Ding Pei made a surprising decision. She took the initiative to divorce Xiang Huaqiang and fulfilled his relationship with Qin Lan. What is even more surprising is that this special relationship did not end with divorce. Instead, it evolved into a unique family structure. Chen Lan not only accepted Ding Pei's existence, but even gave Ding Pei part of the responsibility of raising her son Xiang Ziyuo. Ding Pei said affectionately, even though he now has a new wife and children, they still treat me as a family member. If he needs help, or if his children need care, I will treat them like my own children, and even give them more care. This family relationship beyond the norm shows the wisdom and mind of the three people. Ding Pei, Xian Huaqiang and Chen Lan, the three people built a harmonious relationship in a unique way, which brought an unexpected turn to Ding Pei's life. In this experience, Ding Pei not only found inner peace, but also gained a special big family. This seemingly tortuous experience eventually became a precious gift in Ding Pei's life, allowing her to embrace the warmth of life again after the storm. After experiencing the ups and downs of life, Ding Pei finally chose an unexpected path. She converted to Buddhism to seek inner peace. This decision marked a major turning point in her life and was also a response to her past experiences. Ding Pei gradually faded out of the public eye and chose a low-key and quiet lifestyle. She no longer pursued fame and fortune, but devoted her time and energy to practice and self-reflection. This lifestyle allowed her to find inner balance and gave her the opportunity to re-examine her own life. Despite choosing a life of seclusion, Ding Pei was not completely isolated from the secular world. She maintained a close relationship with the Xiyuang family and treated the Xiyuang family's children as her own. This kind of affection that transcends blood ties shows Ding Pei's broad mind and deep emotions. Her dedication and care have added warmth and harmony to the special big family. As time went by, Ding Pei gradually walked out of the haze of the past. She had a new understanding of life and death and was no longer troubled by the shadow of the past. She learned to accept the past, cherish the present and look forward to the future. This change in mentality is the result of her many years of practice and the embodiment of her wisdom in life. Today, Ding Pei is able to face her past calmly. She no longer escapes and no longer feels ashamed or regretful for what happened in the past. Her experience shows the complexity of human nature and the resilience of life from one side. Ding Pei's story is not only her personal transformation, but also a moving chapter about forgiveness, acceptance and rebirth. Ding Pei's life trajectory, from hustle and bustle to calm, from controversial to fading from the public eye, and finally finding inner peace, is a complete transformation process. Her story tells us that even after experiencing the biggest storm in life, people can stand up again and find their own happiness and tranquility.